Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here of a Young Farmer. My name is Andy, as always. And today we're doing a bit of bailing. Uh, well, we're just waiting really for Glenn to get a little bit further ahead with the rake. Uh, there's not a lot to go at here, so this is the Pottinger rake that we have on demonstration. And at the moment, we're putting four rows into one, really. Uh, so it's about 40 foot swaths, actually. You could, with this rake you can either do it as Glenn is here where he's um, adding them both in together or if you go the other way then it'll make just 20 foot rows. But that's yeah, it's doing alright. There's not a lot of hay on the ground as you can see but we're going to get into it anyway. Uh, I'm in the fast track here, the bailers is ticking over. I just wanted to give him a little bit of a head start really. That, uh, oh there we go. Glenn's just kind of feeling out that rake still a little bit so he's not all that uh, quick on it. But that's not a problem, it's not a big field anyway, we'll soon get this all done. Uh, I'm starting on the rows at the moment because we haven't got the headland done just so we don't mess that up with the rake But it means it's going to be a little bit cautious. Oh, has there been a crash over there? Oh, looks like there has been Oh dearie me uh, Yeah, it's just want to be a little bit more cautious that we don't drop any bales out on the end of the uh, headlands here Otherwise that makes a bit of a mess On that one, and yeah, we're flying through really now. Uh, again, everything kind of taken care of nice and quickly. Hasn't made a very good job of these end rows here, I must say. I do have another rake that I'm going to be trialing soon, um, which should be arriving. I don't know next week or so, but we'll have to wait and see on that front. So yeah, that would be interesting to see how that one performs, but. Uh, yeah, so we've got a lot of business uh, to get going with, really. We haven't done any more combining since that crimping. It's still... We're still waiting for the rest of the crops to ripen up, really. And uh, this hill is really kind of... Pulling the uh, the guts out of the fast track a bit. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get through there. We'll, we'll keep going. And, yeah, uh, we're going to keep going through this. Eventually, we have got in another machine on, uh, on long-term hire at the moment. Back at the yard that we're going to have a look into very shortly. I'll go pick that one up in just a little while. Uh, and we'll be using that this afternoon, so that's going to be quite interesting to see how that comes together. Otherwise, so everything else is looking and um, performing very well, for the most part. Get around here, very nicely indeed. Perfect stuff. Like I say, this is a very thin crop of hay. Uh, it had a very early cut of silage off of here, uh, which is why there's next to nothing on it, but uh, it's still coming over quite well. Uh, so we're going to keep rumbling through with this. We'll see how it all comes together. Glenn's going to keep pushing ahead with his... Uh, uh, push ahead with the rake there, get this headlands done, then we'll get out of here. And Glenn's got a few other jobs to go and take care of this afternoon. Uh, just small little things, really. A little bit of uh, transport work more than anything else. So we kind of wait really. Our own crops, our own spring crops are, aren't that far away. Uh, maybe another week, 10 days. Should be pretty good for it, but uh, that's what we can hope for at least. Do that. But you can kind of see as we look through the swath how the two have been put together there. Uh, so it does quite a decent job. Nice and wide at least, that's for sure. Got it. Got a good, uh, a good area covered in the day with that rake, should we ever need to. It's quite expensive though, so I'm not sure we'll be doing it anytime soon. Get up the hill, get up that hill. You can see why I wanted to leave uh, a little bit of a head start for Glenn, because we are catching him up at quite a rate. It's not taking us too long at all, he's only about one and a half rows ahead of us now, maybe two rows. and. Uh, does take him a little bit longer to turn around in the ends. Uh, we're going to get this all done. We'll get this finished up here. I uh, will figure out what uh, what Glenn's going to take home. But then we'll come back and have a look at the new equipment that we've got uh, on the long term hire for the season. Okay, welcome back folks. We're just finishing off now. Uh, got this last little headland to do down here. Oh, actually a bit up the middle there as well. Missed a bit of a swath. We'll have to come back and get that. And uh, yeah, we're done. Uh, Glenn is already off. He's going to take... First of all, he's going to take the brake back to the uh, dealership where we borrowed it from, or we demoed it from. Uh, and he's got a few other little bits and pieces to do in the class, so he's away. And now uh, we'll head back into the yard with the fast track, take off the baler quickly, stick on the next machine that we need, uh, and then we'll be good to go from there. Uh, we're just gonna 
run up this row here first. Where was that up there? Quite a few bales off this field, more than perhaps I was th uh, thinking we'd receive, given that the, uh, it did look quite thin in the sloth, but yeah, it's not too bad at all. Uh, so that's a, a positive to take away. Um, yeah, we are taking this, it's been carted straight up to a, a barn nearby, uh, so it's not going to stay in the field very long at all. Uh, which is good, because there are rumours that we're going to get some shadows. Oh, click the edge of the veil. Rumours that we'll get some shadow, uh, showers coming up soon, so uh, let's hope that's not going to be the case. Now we've got that little bit left down the bottom tier to do, and then we're away. So we'll get this all uh, cleaned out, uh, blown down, and then we'll get ourselves on the road. We're not going too far, as you know, the yard's only about half a mile down the road. But we'll get this all done, and then we'll go and have a look at what's uh, in store. Well then, folks, welcome back. We have got the new Merlot. Uh, it's not ours. Admittedly, it's on a long-term hire for about six weeks, but it is ours for that duration. It's a Merlot Turbo... What is it? Turbo Farmer. Turbo Farmer P41. 0.7 plus, uh, so nice and small, compact, a uh, couple of years old, about, I think it's about 800 hours on the clock, so quite new by all accounts. The reason we went for this, well it's quite simple really, I, we don't have a front load or anything on the on the business at all like that at this moment, and I don't know how viable a telehandler would be for us. Uh, so we hired one just to see how much work we'd be able to get for it. Um, right now this summer is primarily going to be used for hauling bales, stacking bales, uh, loading and unloading either end. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we've brought this brand new low loader for us, so this is brand new to us. We've got the wedge on the back so it gives us a little bit more stacking space. Uh, the loader, we actually checked before we got that installed, has, uh, has a higher ground clearance so we can actually drive off the edge of that. Uh, let me tell you, it's a little bit hairy to do so, but it is possible. Uh, yeah, so we're going to try and see what it looks like. I think it looks great. Really, really do like it as a, as a setup. And I'm quite intrigued to see how it all runs. But uh, So yeah, that's what we've kind of brought on board, which is great. Um, it looks beautiful in the evening sun here. It really, really does. Uh, and I think we'll be... Yeah, we're going to get these bales stacked up here at least. Get the, uh, we might not get, well I don't think we'll get them all into one trailer load, but let's see. First thing we need to do is get the, off this get this off the trailer to start with. So we'll lift that up. Now the handbrake's on, so we'll just disengage that. Now this is a bit tricky because we can't really see where we're going. What we're going to do is keep taking it back slowly, and at some point we're going to feel a bit of a drop as the back wheels go off the edge of the wedge. Which is about to happen. There it is. And then we'll keep going. And then the front wheels go down as well. Bam. And we're off. Just like that. So now let's get these uh, bales stacked up. What we don't get carted away right now. We're going to stack anyway. Just so. Uh, I always. Well I always get them stacked. Just in air. Avoid any potential chance of rain. Uh, coming. The old saying, if you get them stacked high, it won't rain, but if you don't stack them high, it will. Uh, so that's what we want to try and avoid here. It's not a bad little Merlot, actually. Uh, I do like these. I've got a bit of a soft spot for these. They pack quite a punch uh, in terms of the power to scale, power to size ratio, really. Uh, so, and it's quite compact, so it doesn't mean that we can get it into quite a few different areas for any work that we may be able to get coming along. Uh, right now, what we'll do, we'll just start loading up this near end. We'll probably go maybe three high. We'll just see how two high looks first. Oh, I'd definitely say three high there. What we do need to do is get a little further over, though. Quite sharp hydraulic here that we must get used to. That's a little bit sudden. Yeah, excellent stuff. So yeah, we'll stick the other two on. There, go that way. There's something about stacking bills I do really like as I drop that one. 
real sign of summer. I guess it's one of the first jobs I ever did actually when I was starting to learn to drive a tractor was do a lot of uh, bales stacking and carting in fields, so something I do like about it. Nothing better than seeing a field uh, clear the bales after a long day. Okay. This trailer here as well, it's a Chieftain Triaxle. Uh, we got additional forks on the uh, frame on the ladders on the front or frame on the front however you like to uh, call it and then ladders on the back it's a strong looking trailer air brakes throughout nice and safe particularly when you're in the load that's uh, utmost important get this one done as well these bales are dense and really is struggling to spike them in places Heavens, let's try that again. There we go. So yeah, three high should be plenty. Uh, these are going straight off to a barn as well for the for the client, so we're not gonna have to be keeping them outside too long. Based upon how many we have here, I should get them all done today, I would reckon. It shouldn't be too much of a difficulty. So how are you all doing anyway? Hope everything's going fantastically well. Whatever you're getting up to, do let us know down below what you're working on. Uh, where you're working as well. What you're driving right now. I've had a lot of people uh, commenting saying that it's just getting started with the harvest, which is great. We're probably, ooh, I mean, some people are probably about a week away, but my own stuff here is a little bit further away than that. I think at this stage, at least, we'll have to wait and see. we go now I think what we'll do as well is just get this uh, first lot throw a strap over there just get that all safely tucked in Yeah, not a bad looking machine really is it nice and small nice and compact nice and clean though that's the main thing tell you handlers when the when the second hand can come from a bit of a, a checkered history really where they've been thoroughly used but this one's looking good alright so we're going to keep rumbling through anyway it shouldn't take us too long to get all of this lot done here I wouldn't have thought uh, get this all stacked up and carted away and then we'll be uh, well I've got a few other small bailing jobs to do but we're kind of really just waiting to get going with the combine again. Uh, which shouldn't be too far away, I should imagine. And then, uh, yeah, before you know it, we're going to be well and truly stuck into it. Uh, so we'll leave it here for now. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit the like button. Smash that subscribe button to Simulation for the Nation, who very kindly agrees to host everything. And we will see you all in the next one. Till then, I have been Andy, your f young farmer. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy what you're doing as always. But most importantly, happy farming.